I'm not bougie enough for this. Get me out of here. vlog with Peyton. Hey there. What's your mama doing? What's your daddy doing? <laughs> They are beautiful. A weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. If you have not checked out that vlog, definitely go and do so so you can get the insight of what's going on in this vlog and let's jump into it and see what's going on. Hey y'all. So I'm getting ready to go to dinner with persuasion me and her share the same birthday i'm pretty sure you guys know who she is she was on bad girls club with like winter and um dream doll so yeah we about to go to dinner girl it's freezing outside so i gotta find me something that's warm i'm gonna put this wig on this is from God, who sent me this hair? This is the hair that I had on in Turkey that I won curled. So I'm about to put this one on because it still look good. So I'm about to, uh, I think I'm going to do a side part with like a swoop, brown lips. Because it's feeling very fall outside. It's not feeling like spring outside at all. At all. <sighs> yeah, so... What I'm thinking about putting on, I got this like brown kind of, it's this, it's this interesting design, but like when you put the dress on, it's kind of see-through a little bit. That's what it looked like when I seen other girls wear it, but that with my brown thigh high boots. Because I feel like that I'd be like super warm in the outfit. You know what I'm saying? Because girl, she want to go out and like party afterwards. <laughs> you know me. I like to eat and come on back home so I can sleep. But man, wanna get, man wants to be outside. So I guess we're going to be outside today. She ain't, I, ain't, I ain't did nothing all week. Like, I just been tapping into self-love, doing, like, maintenance, getting um, nails done, facials, stuff like that, massages, going to the chiropractor. That's all I've been doing all week. I mean, y'all see it. I ain't been doing nothing else, so... It's so crazy how when I travel, how jet-lagged I be. Like, I really am jet lag like my jet lag be like a week long is that normal i'm gonna have to google that and see if this normal child because like i really be like but you know when you fly your hemoglobin drop y'all know that right i don't know why they don't put these combs in the same position annoying okay see this one is a little off
Okay, you guys, this is the look for tonight. Doing a little sad part tonight, a little brown lip, you know. Come on, let me show y'all what, like what, um. You say I don't got it like that. Boy, push. Let me show y'all what perfume I'm on. Come on. Like that. You? Yeah, yeah, I said you don't get it like that. You don't get it like that. You just tell me to do something and I do. Oh, y'all, I smell so damn good. Okay, so I have on the new Zerjov Torini Torino 21. You guys. This perfume is very clean and soapy smelling, but when you first spray it, like the initial sillage is like very masculine. It's, it gives off a very like rich, sexy, well-dressed man that got on a silk collar shirt and it's open right here. It get very much fuego when you first smell it, right? But then it dries down and it starts smelling like Delina by Parfum de Marley. This is heaven. I love it. So I'm running tonight to see what the reviews is like, girl, because um I haven't worn it out yet. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what it's popping like tonight. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this shit smells so good. Lord have mercy. All right, let me go put my boots on and then I'll show y'all the outfit. Oh my God, it's burning up in here. Sheesh. I have to turn the car Oh. Okay, you guys, this is the look for tonight. So, where did everything come from? Okay, so. The dress is from Shein. These boots are Fashion Nova. Bag Bottega from Wish Biz. Cuban chain is from Gold Press. My watch and bracelet is JBW and Cartier. And then this bracelet is from Link and Live. And the hair, I have it linked in the description box because I really don't remember, but I've worn it before. Um. So I'll I'll link it in the description box for you guys. So yeah. This is tonight's look. I feel like I look warm and sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, and on the lips I have on Lime Crimes Salem. This is one of my favorite matte browns ever in life. I've had this lipstick for eons, like probably over a decade. It's still good. And what about it? Silly of me, you so much time. Too fast, I can't keep trying. Leaving these in the car is not a good idea. Don't leave these in the car because the oil gets hard and like freezes and then it'd be hard to pull. Silly of me, devoted so much time to find your faithful boy. I, you just ran the red light like what you got going on? It is a Friday. Y'all, Fridays downtown Dallas be so dead. You would think it's a Sunday. Just driving around downtown like it's no traffic or nothing. Like, where the people at, child? Where the people at? Anyway, so it's 37 degrees. I do have on a coat because, ooh, child, we can't be risking it in March spring right around the corner i don't know what's taking it so long because 37 37 the day before my birthday i just knew it was gonna be sunny because yesterday it was sunny yesterday it felt so good outside i got excited like wow i'm really fit to have a spring birthday i have never had a spring birthday for as long as i can remember i've never had a spring birthday it's always felt like winter on my birthday or raining or snowing or something like never good weather so whatever it's gonna be called i be but um 
yeah y'all so today was a day and i didn't really film a lot today like i really just picked up the camera to like start getting ready and doing my hair and stuff like that because i ain't even want to go out honestly like for real i i just wanted to stay in bed and binge watch tyler perry's the sisters y'all want to know another reason why i prefer smoking my cbd pen over um cannabis now and i still like to get lifted don't get me wrong but when i'm going out i don't like to smoke before i go out because i don't want to smell like i'm a smoker you feel what i'm saying i don't want it to be in my hair i don't want it to be on my clothes i want you to be able to smell my natural skin scent and my perfume you know what i'm saying because that's my favorite compliment and you're not going to get complimented on smelling good if you smell like weed and zerjoff you just not you're going to get somebody saying where the weed is <laughs> today my birthday happy birthday it's march 12th it's saturday it's sunny outside it ain't raining i think it's cold it's a little chilly but at least it ain't raining because it literally always rain on my birthday and didn't make me feel some type of way but i just wanted to say hey to y'all i love y'all my paypals i have spent the whole day on live with some of y'all with with, with y'all like literally like a good 12 hours just talking to y'all and just talking about stuff and like letting it all out like things that i can't just it's not that i can't say them on my blogs but i i don't know it's it's different knowing that you like in your room talking to a camera versus in your room talking to the people that are watching you on live and even though you can only talk back to them typing if they don't like uh go live with you it's still somebody to talk to and just release and i highly recommend having somebody that you can release with somebody that just truly understands you and they don't always have to have like um a response like they don't always have to have something to say back you know just somebody that listens because it really really helps and then i think after saying it out loud you hear how it sounds and it also makes you think like wow i shouldn't have tolerated that or wow that doesn't sound right maybe i need to look within and change because there have been some times when i've said things on live and i've thought about it the next day and i'm like mm, maybe i should try therapy you know so I'm go but I know I don't think of you every step of the way alright let's get this party started I'm gonna head over to the Airbnb and just get it ready real quick shouldn't take long cause I already washed the uh, the linens I just gotta do one load how long is that gonna take it's like two hours. Anyway, yeah, gotta do that. And then we're gonna come back to the house because 
juice gonna pull up um and see me and um y'all i have been having like major back problems i'm gonna start doing yoga i need to start stretching i do totally do i need to start stretching because my chiropractor keep telling me i need to stretch that everybody always asks me do you stretch and i'm like why are y'all so bent out of shape about stretching like why is stretching so important obviously it is because i don't do it and now i'm starting to feel pain people keep asking me Peyton, what do you do like you look so good to be 39 like what do you do Child, obviously i'm not doing anything right honey because my back is killing me and i might not look 39 but my back is very much 39 my back 39 my back 50 actually it's 60. i've had a chiropractor tell me that i had the spine of a 65 year old woman that was highly discouraging it was so I am encouraged now to want to start doing yoga to better my life. Like I, I just, I just want to feel better. And the way my back been hurting lately, y'all, like I don't even want to do nothing but lay in the bed. I don't even want to film. I don't even want to film. My back been killing me, and I know that it is because. Give me a second to take my foot off the brake, will ya? Did I tell y'all it was my birthday? Today's my birthday. But um, yeah, I just I just want to feel good. I feel good spiritually, mentally, but physically, oh my god, I don't. I be in the bed just smiling and happy. I be wanting to get out, but my back hurts so bad. And I and I truly think that it's because that man rear-ended me two years ago. Like, child, he hit me hard. He was going like 60. He was going like 60 and smashed in the back of me. So, I don't know what it did to my spine, but... Uh, he got off. He rear-ended me, totaled his car. He ain't do nothing but knock my little Nissan out, the bumper out of place. Child. That's what I'm telling you. Move out of a Nissan way because they build those cars different. Nissan's like, the how hard he hit me, my back really should be toe up. But Nissans are such good cars that that man rear-ended me going 60 and I was at a stop. He rear-ended me going 60, and yes, I have back pain, but it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Like, it's it's bad. Like, I will say it's bad enough to want to take, take medication for it now. That's, that's how bad it is. But I just, like, deal with the pain because people that have back pain are some of the... People that have been dealing with back pain and suffering from back pain are, how do I say this? How do I say this? I'm trying to say this um, correctly. They are the most common people that end up on drugs because the back pain gets to the point where it's so severe that they're prescribed stronger pain meds and end up becoming drug addicts um i watched a documentary on it i did research on it and like back pain is like really one of the main reasons why a lot of people become drug addicts because they dealing with like back, like your spine your spine literally controls everything so if you dealing with back pain child good luck good luck because I don't take anything for mine. I don't even be taking Tylenol and, and Motrin. I literally smoke. I've been smoking all week. I ain't smoked this much in so long. Like, usually I'm a social smoker. Like, I smoke occasionally. I can keep a fucking... Ooh, child, I can keep some... I can keep some ganja long, long. When it comes to who I buy from, 
I am not one of them customers for him. Like, he always come through, but, like, he know, like, she might not buy again. She might not get none again in, to, like, to six months from now. I keep it so long, but lately, I have been smoking every day, every night before bed because my back hurts so bad. It's to the point where I can't even sleep with a pillow. And I sometimes hang my head off the bed. Like, y'all don't understand. I be in pain. At night, in the, in, my, in the middle of my sleep, I am in pain. Ain't that crazy? You laying down and in pain. It's bad. It's, it's very bad now. All right, they left the house real clean. I ain't even eat none of my snacks I left. Look, they left it all fully stocked. I ain't even show y'all this. For the next guest. Oh well, for the next guest. But yeah, I'm about to. Baby, it's the clearing the throat for me. Happy birthday to you. This dang. Happy birthday to you. OMG, I got the camera up, so this is going to be in the vlog. This is funny as hell. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all. you guys what is up getting ready to make me a new meal from hello fresh i finally got my box and it was a whole new box they had to send out a whole new box i do not know what happened to it all i know is the delivery guy because he had on all brown and it was supposed to be delivered by ups the delivery guy stole my box that's all i know i never got it i had to get a new one and i'm happy that hello fresh was super understanding and sending out a new one um so I was still able to get content up like I was supposed to. And yes, HelloFresh is sponsoring today's video. And I am making the Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti with zucchini and chili flakes. This is this meal is 760 calories. It takes 30 minutes to cook and five minutes to prep. Super easy. The only thing that I have to cut is the lemon, zucchini, and mince the garlic cloves. And everything else is like done over the stove. This is like one of those meals that you can walk away from the stove and cook, but it's super easy. Um, and it didn't take me long and it's still like enough calories so I can eat it throughout the day. So this is gonna be my lunch and dinner. So I already have it made here. Mmm, looks so good. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it a little bit, but you guys know that HelloFresh is the number one meal delivery kit in the country. They do deliver to the United States and I do believe Canada as well. If you guys want to indulge and sign up, you can use my link below. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and you will get 16 free meals if you use the code Payton16 plus three gifts and free shipping. So. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, enter the code Payton16, and you will get up to 16 free meals and three free gifts plus free shipping. So I highly suggest you guys try it out because I like to remove that rut of like going to the grocery store. Like I know going to the grocery store can be fun, but at the same time, I really don't have a lot of time to do it. Plus, I hate having to pack my bags, take them out the car bring them upstairs unpack like having hello fresh just removes all of that plus i don't waste that much food when i grocery shop y'all 
the next time I go grocery shopping, I'm throwing away almost like really 60% of what I bought when I had just went grocery shopping. I waste so much food. HelloFresh just removes all of that. You get to eat sustainably, eat healthy meals. They have hundreds of recipes to choose from. You remove going to the grocery store out. Everything is recyclable, so you're not like wasting food and um, using like products that you can't recycle. Like everything that they package is used with recyclable content. So you still get to be eco-friendly, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's just, it's super convenient. I'm really gonna stop buying so much groceries and really just invest more in HelloFresh. That way I have large meals i'm going to start meal prepping with HelloFresh like i was doing before that way i have large meals and i'm not wasting money and i'm not wasting food because like this previous grocery store run i spent like 200 and some dollars and i didn't even i didn't cook and eat half of that food i threw almost all of it away especially with me traveling and stuff so HelloFresh is just way more convenient so i highly suggest you guys trying it signing up and yeah Let's eat sustainably together. So, I'm a little bit in a bad mood. Best Buy was supposed to come and deliver my living room TV and install it. And I've been sitting here waiting because I had the window from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I've been sitting here waiting. And then when 1.15 rolled around, I'm like, okay, uh, where the hell they at? So I call, wait on hold. I hate calling and doing anything with customer service because child. So I end up talking to this little sweet Asian girl, child. She caught all the smoke. That baby caught all the smoke. And you can't tell me that she don't work for all of the customer service. She don't work for other companies because I swear I don't I just talked to her last week with a different company and I was going off on her with them as well. So I'm like, you know ma'am how y'all just gonna cancel my you know what i'm saying like i've already paid for the tv I already paid for the installation like how y'all just do people like that y'all ain't call me ain't text me ain't left a message or nothing i'm sorry about that ma'am um i i do understand your concerns ma'am and i'm like y'all gotta reimburse me i took off work i mean they don't know that i work for myself but y'all gotta reimburse me I, I don't think I should pay for the delivery and the installation. That was 200 It's $200. I don't think I should have to pay for that since y'all did all these. Like, that's just, ugh. So, I am like, ooh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. I'm not going to lie. But to lift my spirits, I'm about to go to Home Depot. Because, y'all. So, um... Do I want to say this? Do I want to tell y'all this? A friend of mine came over and helped me. Um, it's, it's more to it than a friend of mine, baby. But we're just going to say a friend of mine. A friend of mine came over and helped me install my big bug curtain rack system. Because obviously I need a taller ladder for me to do it myself. I'm just not tall enough. So thank God he's... Six, four. So anyway, I have one last piece that I need to hang up, but it needs to be cut with a saw. Of course, you know, I don't have that. So um, I'm about to take it to home. I'm about to take this little piece to Home Depot and cut it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm about to take this piece to Home Depot and get it cut and then um, purchase a taller ladder because I only have, what is it, a two-step one? Baby, I need a I need a taller ladder. I definitely need a taller ladder. Some told me to get a taller one, and then I'm just gonna put the rest of them up because I have uh, some to put up in my um, office as well. It's not hard. I'm just not tall enough, and I don't have a tall ladder. So yeah, we about to go to Home Depot and do that. And I need to eat. <laughs> I feel like you do me wrong. They still say a roundup, roundup, roundup get cause cancer. Uh, I need some cut. 
with a saw. Where do I go? Uh, to cut that? Mm-hmm. Um, Seven in blind. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm about to do some cleaning up. It is like almost 10 o'clock at night. I just woke up. When I came back from Home Depot, I ate my leftover payway because I was dead as serious about going there every week to get the firecracker chicken. It's so good. It's really good when it's fresh and you eating it in the restaurant. I've been doing like Uber Eats, so it'd be kind of soggy once it gets to me. But nevertheless, still very good. One thing about fried rice and stuff like that, it's always like just as good the next day, if not better, especially being a hunter. But yeah, I had... Um, ate that and made me a little mimosa. Oh, it put me straight to sleep, child. I had some good sleep, but then I had to wake up and go and um, I had a I had a leg check in. Um, and with that being said, this is gonna be my last check in with Airbnb. Um, I'm quitting Airbnb. Um, that previous guest that left like all of the trash. I didn't even show y'all that she damaged furniture. I have like water damage. Um, really bad on my coffee tables and the way she left the oven um, it was actually her and her husband a Hispanic couple and um, yeah I just I don't want to clean up after people anymore and I know y'all will say you know you can get a cleaning crew and things like that but actually those people did more damage than I actually can talk about um they I, I allowed them to stay in my garage and they hit the garage so um the property manager found out about it and uh yeah i cannot i, I cannot have an airbnb airbnb there anymore so yeah um it, it was fun while it lasted but i'm about to clean up honey and because this house is a mess to me and it's it's bothering me. I can't go to sleep with it looking like this. So I'm about to clean up. Oh yeah, and I had to reach out to the to Airbnb and like let them know that um I needed them to cancel all of my future reservations. Like April was pretty much booked up. I had like one opening in April. May had like three openings. I had one opening in July. Like I was booked all the way to November. Um yeah, so I'm probably just going to sell um, the furniture. I'm going to bring some of the furniture here, like um, the TV, maybe the credenza that's in the um, living room. And then I'm probably just going to sell everything else or put it in storage. I don't know, but yeah, I'm, I just signed the lease, so... Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna break it because I don't I don't know anyone that I could allow to stay there and yeah. So you know, it is what it is, child. Like I said, it was fun while it lasted, but um, I, I ain't got time to be cleaning up after nasty people. I want to live my life. I I think I have a very like nice life in doing that humbling as it is it was just you know i'm breaking nails my skin drying out from using all these different cleaning products cleaning it multiple times a a, a month and all that stuff like i just it, it wasn't glamorous it wasn't glamorous for me the money was but the work it just wasn't glamorous like cleaning up after nasty people that just don't have no i'm trying to, i don't have time for it i really don't I, I didn't expect people to be like that because when I stay in Airbnbs, um, the most that you will see is hair on the floor from me cleaning these damn, you mean combing these weaves, child, but that's it. I'm not leaving like uh, someone's house filthy like that because I would be embarrassed like to know that that's, that's how I left it. So yeah, that, that did it for me. You know, coming into it, it was super stressful. You know, when I started doing it during vlogmas, coming into it, it was super stressful because you had people complaining, trying to scam you and things like that. But um, yeah, this this did it for me. This did it for me. I So I quit. We are going to look into other business ventures 
that I will share and talk to you guys about. I will do a separate video on how to get your Airbnb started, um, do's and don'ts and things like that. I think that that will be a very helpful video for those of you that want to get into it um, because I dove right in, feet in the mud, feet in the grind, you know what I'm saying? Nose to the grind. Um, and I just did it, you know what I'm saying? And I made it happen and had they not damaged my garage and upset my property manager i probably would still be able to move forward and do this but at the same time um that last guest that left it filthy that really that just really did it for me like that really showed me like this isn't as glamorous as i thought it was gonna be and i know people would be like you could just get a cleaning crew um but i i actually enjoyed cleaning my airbnb it's nothing against cleaning crews but like from what i see like people charge a lot of money that's where you make your money is the cleaning fee you know what i'm saying and a lot of people was telling me to like charge a hundred dollar cleaning fee and i'm just like i don't i don't i don't think i'll have bookings with a hundred dollar cleaning fee like that's a lot i've i haven't seen anybody like i went through other host postings on airbnb nobody had a hundred dollar cleaning fee in dallas no one no one. I, I, I went through a lot. I didn't see anyone. It was people in there that even didn't have cleaning fees and they weren't even booked up like me. So I'm like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, how? So I'm just not going to bother with y'all. I'm looking into um, doing some other things, which I will share later on. But I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I think the next time I get an Airbnb, it will probably be a house where I can have um, a large number of people staying at once and I can make more money. But even then, I feel like because I'm so traumatized by this one couple that just recently stayed and how nasty they left a one bedroom. Oh, my God. Like, I would be... If somebody left, like, a five-bedroom house like the way that they left my one bedroom... Baby, I gotta find you. I gotta find you. Hold on. Don't leave. I gotta meet you in person. Why you leave my house like this? I'm gonna have to find you. So, I, yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. this cabinet console from Wayfair it was like 254 or something like that and it comes with these two baskets it's pretty much already put together when you um open it out the box you're gonna have to put the legs on in this little bottom shelf but yeah the drawer is open so it's more storage for in here and I just like this one so much better than that previous one that I had and then if you pan around to the shower, you still have this little wooden bench. Um, and you have my skin potion. I love it. You got the um, soap, bar soap, some body scrub, and some Castile soap. Extra hand towels. Because I like for people when they come and wash their hands to like use these instead of getting disposable ones. But this is for decoration. Like Because I notice like when people wash their hands and use like white towels... This gets dirty real fast because people's hands be dirty. So I want people to use these instead because I can wash these easier. And they won't like... I don't want this to get dingy. I don't mind these getting dingy. And then I just have like... Y'all, this uh, hand wash right here. I wish I had got the hand cream. But I got this hand cream instead. But this hand wash, y'all, in rose. 
it smells so freaking good i want it in the perfume the body wash the body cream the i want it in everything this smells so freaking good i, I would say that this is probably my favorite by Rado scent and then i have some more skin potion like a, a bar soap and i got this marble dish from home goods and i have the matching trash can over here y'all excuse my little you know black people gonna use black people gonna recycle this is how black people recycle we use our uh grocery bags our plastic grocery bags is small trash bags uh-huh sure do uh, last night i thought to back when we made good love Listening to some Marvin Gay all night long. Oh, y'all, I stayed up till five o'clock this morning. Um, I had to reach out to Airbnb and let them know that I'm um quitting, and <clears throat> so they can cancel all of my future bookings. And oh my god. Airbnb, they were so understanding. Um, I still can stay on the platform if I want. I'm still a super host. If I decide to um, move and create another listing, I have that opportunity to do so. And it was it was so crazy because while I'm on the phone with the guy, I think his name was Pete. He was like. Oh my god you're booked all the way to november and i was like yeah yeah he was like are you sure that you know this is what you want to do and i was like yeah i'm sure because one y'all my bag is I don't, I, I don't think my bag will get to a point where Auntie Joys, y'all. Y'all remember her and love her so much. But I'm here looking at um beds for Karen Rome. I want her to have a tall headboard like I do. Um, and then I'm also soaking my feet. Why well, I ain't soaking my feet? I got these feet masks on. I'm gonna show you. So so I got these, uh, they're called Carousel. It's um, intensive repair foot mask and it's enriched with tea tree oil. It's, it's highly enriched with it. Like as soon as you open it, you can smell the tea tree. Chamomile, shea butter, and aloe. And this softens cracked heels and dry skin, deeply moisturizes and gently exfoliates. Um, and you leave these on for 20 minutes. So I, um, exfoliating my heel because like when you walk barefooted on um hardwood floors it makes your for me i don't know if this is like a normal thing for everybody but for me if i don't have on like house shoes or socks when i walk bare feet on um, barefoot on hardwood floors my feet get my the bottom of my feet get so dry they start cracking and they start getting like their little ashy oh girl i hate it it is not cute on he, in, wearing heels it's not cute at all and y'all know you know that I, I like i like to keep my feet up because you never know you never know so i bought this foot filer from CVS, it was like eight dollars, and it's uh, one side is coarse and one side is fine. And I just like foul my my heel down like until it's like super super soft, and then I put um, the foot mask on. I should have washed my feet before I did it, but I was like, Ugh, whatever. They they clean. I just got out the shower, but um, yeah. And I'm you gonna I'm gonna leave these on for twenty minutes, and it's supposed to make feet real soft real soft i like it it's nice it's nice so while i'm doing that i'm just about to order some stuff off amazon look at a couple of beds on wayfair um i'm probably gonna make my decision on which bed i want this week um so we can go ahead and start putting the um Karen, karen's room slash guest bedroom together 
I want it to be real glam like mine. I might even make that bedroom better, more like more glamorous. Well, not glamorous. Yeah, glamorous. I might even like make that bedroom better than my bedroom because it's if you come through the garage, it's the first thing you see um, when you come in the house. So I really want that to be kind of like. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go and run some errands. My scent of the day. This is about to be my spring and summer scent, y'all. Like this perfume smells amazing. Amazing. Oh my god. So this is the Nishani Saffron Colonies. I'm gonna do a video a video on its own and talk about like the saffron fragrances that you need to have for the spring and summer that just really like stand out this is one of them this is one of them sis oh it smells so good mm. so even though i ain't looking like nothing i'm smelling like something you feel me I don't even like Sneaky Link. I feel like Sneaky Link for the young folk. Like, uh-uh. You know, you ain't finna come over here and be no Sneaky Link, but you can come over here and knock my boots. How about it? Oh, I just ran a light. What the police said. You can come over here and knock my boots. How about it? Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. I came in here for hangers and storage. I done got two pieces of art. Now I'm in the limp section about to buy some limps. I mean, while I'm here, I might as well. Um, I really want blue limps, but I mean, I suppose, like look at this. I think that this is so cute to go above my credenza in the foyer in the bedroom. So now I'm looking for lamps and lamp shades. I like that you can mix and match them here. I like. Your love is here, drowning in the heart. Your kiss is here, never leaving the box. Your love is. All right, we headed to Trader Joe's. I'm not gonna be able to like overdo it, which is good because I tend, especially when I grocery shop hungry, I tend to overdo it and I waste a lot of money and I waste a lot of food, so I don't want to do that. But I really want to make a um, salmon fried rice tonight, so I'm gonna get that and some snacks and um. I'm gonna cook enough for that to last me till tomorrow. What else do I got in the refrigerator that I can cook? I'm gonna get some things to cook, definitely, but I'm not gonna overdo it. But I got a lot of nice stuff in there. I got two lamps, two art pieces, storage, and I bought a whole bunch of hangers um, for Miss Ma'am, Miss Mama's this coming tomorrow to organize. So. Yeah, I spent like, ooh, child going in at home, kind of dangerous for me lately. I spent $400. Oh, hey, I want my home to be really homey. You know what I'm saying? Because I like being at home. Somebody DM'd me the other day and was like, 
hey and i know you like to go out a lot you go out a lot a lot a lot like she emphasized a lot and i'm like sis i don't go out that much <laughs> i be in the house I, I usually go out when I need a middle picture for the thumbnail. Because when you cute, oh Lord, I almost side swiped that doggone uh, thing. When you cute and got a cute picture in the thumbnail, those videos do better than just looking regular. me if I can stay at home and, and, and these views hit I would because I ain't shit on a wrist cracker outside thinking about getting back with my ex because baby I'm not meeting anybody that's better than them everybody that I meet works they make me feel like well shit you could have just stuck with them baby and, and, and went through some shit and just worked it out Oh lord, I can't, I can't take it. These men's, oh honey, these men's. Always, oh my man, my man, my man, my man, bitch, your man left you for the hell. Oh, I just wanna see you, dick, leg, spread, oh my, yeah. <laughs> See what I'll hype about. Okay, this grocery store is giving me easy way. Trader Joe's is like the bougie easy way. I don't know if I want to go grocery shopping here. This is so yeah, I know that I love the avocado salad kits. This is the one that they have. It's it looks pretty good. I'm going to get two watermelon chunks. I love them so much. Grapes. Definitely got to get bananas for the smoothies. They got these mini peppers. Excuse me. Some Brussels sprouts. Got to get some broccoli. white bread well yeah okay i'm like this the bread was hard as hell oh boy here we go so everything in here is so is everything in trader joe's so is everything in trader joe's organic child because i ain't seen not one brand that i'm used to seeing like where the simply lemonade I'm not bougie enough for this shit. Get me out of here. Hey. Jury in the safe on arrival. This alone, Jay, for survival. A lot of people gunning. Okay, I did tired. pretty good. I spent $116 at Trader Joe's. And I actually got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of food. Their frozen section impressed me more than everything else. So, I'm still going to have to order some snacks, milk, sodas, juice, because I love my Simply. I'm still going to have to order, but I did get a nice amount of groceries for $116. So, now I see why all the uh, Caucasian, <laughs> now I see why all the Caucasian uh, YouTubers and influencers shop at Trader Joe's. Because it wasn't nothing but white people and Asian people in Trader Joe's, shy. I felt, I felt all rich and shit. Like, hey, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I make money just like you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Girl, look at, 
And look, this is what really made me feel bougie. Bitch, I went and bought some almond butter. I ain't never had almond butter in my life. Like, how this taste? Have y'all ever had these? What this taste like? Is it like peanut butter? It should be, cause peanut butter. Almond um, butter. I've never had almond butter. I hope it's good. But yeah, girl, one sixteen seventy four. See. I did good, I'm proud of myself. I got fruit, I got some pears, some watermelon, some grapes. Did I get strawberries? No, cause I ain't like how they strawberries look. I even got some pickles. And I got a whole bunch of vegetables, salad. Maybe I even got their little, they little white bread. She said, keep it chilled so it, it lasts long. Ma'am, I don't put bread in the refrigerator. Who does it? Oh! Baby, this is my first time. I got brown eggs. <laughs> it, bitch, this little beige. It must be the beige. It must be like the little beige, my little beige decor or whatever. Like I'm like leveling up. <laughs> nah, but seriously though, I read that uh, there's no difference in brown eggs and white eggs. No difference. Some people think that brown eggs are higher in nutrition, but I Googled it. It's no different. So, I'm going to try it. The brown eggs are from the dark-skinned chickens, and the white eggs is from the Caucasian chickens. Your heart is hard to carry after dark Try to blame for what we could have been Cause look at what we are Your friends are scared to tell you you went too far Funny that it's always been all about you from the start I met someone new last night And we kicked it And I'm going back there tonight And you know what's on my mind this time Hi you guys, good morning. Okay, so I ordered some containers, some brown containers from Amazon. Um I ordered some for my dish soap and my hand soap and they these these are plastic and they came with the labels. So you get two and it comes with the labels. And then I ordered some glass ones pretty much the same it's like pretty much the same except these are plastic and these are glass and i had to buy the labels for these because i want to put um two different body washes in it so i had to buy the labels for these and these labels come with um you know two of each shampoo conditioner and body wash so About to take these upstairs and fill these with body wash it looks so good like oh that's gonna be so much better sitting in that little square in my shower than like having all the like different body washes lined up and it just look a mess this is better oh and i have a personal assistant here today she's organizing my closet right now so um I'm probably gonna go ahead and start doing like my under cabinets and like like rearranging everything because I bought a credenza, so I'm gonna show y'all that. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Home updates. Okay, so this is the credenza that I bought from Wayfair. Me and my friend put it together. And then these are the paintings that I got yesterday from at home. I also got two lamps 
in lampshades and then I also have some knickknacks that I can like put right here they're in Chiron's room so I'm gonna get that a little later and I just took one of the trees out of my bedroom and put it on the side just to see how it would look I think I'm gonna leave it there um or I might get a different tree I don't know and then I'm also gonna get the art lights to go above those um and then yeah we'll be done with this little 48 part but yeah the it has lots it has lots of space and storage so I got I got some compartments so I can like really have it organized and as you can see the doors close on their own so yeah this is a really cool one I think um I paid like maybe 375 for it I would have it linked in the description box okay you guys so sis is done with the closet and I even got up in organized under my bathroom cabinet so i'm gonna show you guys that and then we're gonna hang these paintings and get this foyer together honey so um yeah let me show you what she did okay so i had already started this rack you guys remember um so this is all black she put my my jackets and my coats here then we got some jeans and black leather pants here she put all of the like um neon colors here like well not neon but like pinks and purples over here the shoes are the same she did the greens and blues over here then this this row right here is all of the um oranges nudes and then towards the back are the animal prints so the closet is completely organized and looking so much better. Okay, now let me show you the bathroom. Okay, so I showed you that I redid this area here. So now we have our body washes and I just got this necessary. I didn't wanna like re-bottle it cause I like it the way it is so i just left the, the necessary in the middle maybe i should put it on the side whatever but yeah that's done okay and under this cabinet i have a stackable lazy susan with you know all of my skincare products and i have another one here and then another one here so this is basically all my skincare products Things that I use on a daily basis. Um, I put my toothbrush up here just because I feel like it's more aesthetic and clean looking when the toothbrush is under the cabinet or whatever. But um, yeah, so this spins. That's a more necessary. My toothpaste, all of that. This one spins as well, but um, because it's like right under that pipe, it don't spin that much, but all of these spin and have my skincare products. Then under this cabinet are just tile towels. So we got our washcloths and then we have, I just have those there. And then we have some um, bath towels. And what I'm most proud of is this one. So I did this too so we have all of our bath and body works lotions i like to put lotion on when i get out of the shower like after i put my oils on i still put on body lotion so i have all of my body lotions and i had got this from at home i got some body sprays here um tom ford i love this one this one smells so good and then over here are more body lotions body butters and all of my body creams so these are skin potions i love all of their body butters so i have and literally all of these are skin potion body butters and then i have my body creams i have some um some glow like these are the glow oil from so janeiro love them for me and then I got some body oils too because I like to put on oil when I get out of the shower. Okay, so that is it for all of the organization. Up under here in this credenza, we have, you know, hair products and whatnot, whatnot. Wow, this thing is going to get hot from this sun beaming on it. 
Okay, now I'm about to hang these. I forgot to get light bulbs, y'all. So I got to go get some light bulbs to put in my lamps. But I'm about to go ahead and hang these paintings up. And then I'm just going to put some little sculptures here um, that I got from at home. So um, I'll show you guys that once I'm done. Jersey!